Lego. 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 Breaking news. Breaking news. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Back to Brick. I'm your host, Garrett, and this is the podcast where we talk with fellow AFOLs from around the world to discuss their designs and how they went about them. And we get down to the breaking news every week to talk about all the things Lego has been cooking up and getting out to all its consumers. I always like to thank people for coming back to the show or being first-time listeners. I appreciate your time that you get to spend with myself and learning all about Lego and, of course, spending time with our guests who come on uh, once a week. So make sure you subscribe to the podcast so you can follow up on all of our favorite news from the past week and our podcast interviews. You can subscribe at backtobrick.com or you can subscribe on the Spotify or Apple apps. So to get a little raw, first off, I have been dabbling with new ideas and trying to figure out what I want to do, and I just put in my resignation for the Navy, so I will have one more year in the Navy, and then on to the next chapter in our lives, and we're very excited about it, so it's fun to be a part of, well, 2022. It's been a good year. We paid off my wife's student loans, and we got a brand new Model 3 Tesla, so This week has been crazy, as well as the last week. And like everything in life, there's ups and downs, but you continue on. That's how life goes, and I hope that you all are feeling the same. And if you don't feel good, it's okay, and just reach out to people that are there to support you. But enough of my mushy talk. Let's let's start with the breaking news. Lego Star Wars is coming out strong this week with two, uh, let's say three, main news pieces. We'll start off with the first one, which is the Lego Helmet series, which I've been a big fan of since its inception. I only need one more to complete the series, but not anymore. They just came out with three others. The first two they released were the Mandalorian helmet and the X-Wing pilot helmet. Both are excellent design. The Mando helmet is similar to Boba Fett's, of course, but with a little more chrome detailing, which is really nice. But the X-Wing pilot is probably the best. They have the chin strap. They have the goggles that are um, rounded pieces that are the clear orange and a bunch of stickers but that's okay they they still look pretty good these are the first two in the series and they're going to go for sixty dollars each but the next one that i think is really cool and will be a target exclusive is the dark trooper helmet the dark trooper helmet is uh, a little different in style because the top is all studded and then the sides are just very plain clean looking i see that as well lego doesn't do dome or rounded pieces very often this is a target exclusive as well as lego.com and it's also going to sell for 60 bucks all three will be coming out march 1st another star wars set coming out is the dark trooper attack which includes three dark troopers and luke now this is the hallway scene that reveals him from the elevator and they well try to take on a jedi and it doesn't go well for them It comes out March 1st and will be at a cost of $30. It's great to have three Dark Troopers. And if you want, you know, I think it's a battalion of 20 or 40. I can't remember exactly. I'll have to rewatch the episode. Oh, darn. But it could be fun to set up your own Moff Gideon ship, uh, Imperial Light Cruiser, with Luke coming in and destroying all of them. As I spoke about the Dark Trooper helmet, there is another LEGO exclusive that will be at Target. And, of course, at LEGO.com. But this is going to be... 76206 a marvel thor's hammer or mjolnir as it's better called if you know Uh, and it's going to be a cost of hundred dollars and it's going to come out march 1st as well it does include a mini thor a display stand with the uh, name mjolnir and it also comes with this little side set with the tesseract the infinity gauntlet and the eternal flame which you can pull out of the side of the hammer and that was a lot of broken words but you know what i meant thing is life size the only thing is it does have some missing details the hilt isn't exactly the same style and it doesn't have any celtic runes on the uh, corner pieces so i think they missed a little bit here they could have even put stickers on that or some printed pieces Um, but it's for you to judge if you really like thor and want your own lego thor hammer this is the best option for you to get one The latest LEGO Speed Champion sets have been extremely popular just based on their size where they can fit minifigures to on each side. Uh, I really enjoy that because then you can have a perfectly scaled minifigure style car. Now they've decided to go all in. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five 
cars. They've got uh, a Lotus a Vija, a Lamborghini Countach, the Aston Martin uh, Valkyrie AMR Pro, uh, the Mercedes AMG F1, and a 1970s Ferrari 512M. All in the price range of twenty to forty dollars, as there are some that are pairs. I love them, but I'm not a huge collector of these. There might be the, a call for me to get the Countach as well as the Ferrari. I'll just have to also get the Ford GT to have them as a pair for the uh, Le Mans, which I'll have to recreate somehow in Lego form. A lot of people grew up with the Legend of Zelda games. I wasn't uh, really into that when I was younger. I was more of a Nintendo guy. But a lot of people are big fans of the pixelated versions of the old Zelda games. And somebody decided to make the Legend of Zelda Hyrule map. And it's not a small map. This is the entire map of the video game. So from start to end and how you would compete and go through the course, it's 25,000 Lego bricks, 493 enemies, 2,779 trees, and it's 30 inches by 85 inches. It is a really cool model. I'll post the YouTube video down here and show you that this guy ha did a great job, and hopefully he does more. I'd love to see him do full Pokemon models. As the beginning of every month starts out, LEGO decides that, oh, maybe we'll release some of those LEGO sets that we teased about in the last month. And there are a few, such as the Ideas Globe, which sells for $200. And then we also have the newly licensed Brickheads, the Toy Story, Stranger Things, and Looney Tunes. All of these are out. Now, if you'd like to go out, you can purchase some of these and get a promotional LEGO Vintage Taxi that we talked about a little while ago. If you purchase over $200 or more in the store, so if you just buy the Globe, that's an easy way to do it. And there will, of course, be more coming out throughout the month and a lot more in March and, well, continuing every month from now. The LEGO Friends series is turning 10 this year. So in the LEGO VIP rewards program, you can get two different things. The LEGO Friends the si uh, t Tin Sign and win a signature Friends Treehouse with a 50-point purchase. Uh, I, I can't remember the exact limit on those, but those are something you can find in the VIP Reward Center. Lego Dot series has been extremely successful, and they'll continue to branch out with different designs, now including some luggage tags that you can design. They also have just a random bag of bricks that you can build things, and they have larger signs that you can do, and a really big sign where you can display as many dots as you can probably think of. These sets will be coming out March 1st, and they've got a wide range of colors and different designs, and, well, things that you can put dots on all over the place. Another Brickhead was revealed. This time it's a Disney Brickhead, Chip and Dale from The Rescuers. Their, well, four-year-old could make these, to be honest. I think that they didn't really put too much effort in. They do look like chipmunks, and one has a floral shirt, but the other is extremely plain. Uh, I, I'm not getting as many Brickheads anymore. I've decided I was collecting them, but now I'm going to stop. I'm going to take my time and just purchase the ones that I really like. Another Lego art series set was revealed. This time it's Elvis Presley. Uh -huh. For $120. It's in the same line as all the other art series. This has three different faces you can have. Him smiling, him with the smoldering face, and him singing. Uh, it's got 3,445 pieces and will be released in March of this year. When the original LEGO Star Wars video game came out, you could customize your figures. So you could change the head, body, maybe have a blaster and a lightsaber. And it seems like that feature will still continue on in this next game. It's going to be really cool. So hopefully you can intermingle not just uh, some of the standard bricks, but maybe some more like General Grievous with the head of Obi-Wan, a uh, lightsaber or four different blasters in that and, and so on. Maybe even... Um, job of the hut which would be extremely funny with a lightsaber um so the playability is continuing and hopefully we'll see some more adaptability for this game and cannot wait for its release in april of this year this year's lunar new year is the year of the tiger we've seen a brickhead we've seen some of the figures that have been in the uh, two chinese new year sets and now they have been giving out a minifigure free at lego stores it's got a kid with a printed face of a tiger and a tiger head and tail and body very cool it seems that they're giving out to kids at their lego stores maybe they'll have one near you now i gotta go check my lego store and see if i can get my hands on one too 
Now, a lot of us know that the moon helps in creating tides on the Earth. We have high tide, low tide, and, you know, all the other little tides in between. But it's very hard to predict, and it only got to work when a man named Sir William Thompson, or better known as Lord Kelvin, uh, designed one such tide-predicting machine, which is an improvement gears and pulleys designed in the 19th century. And a man by uh, Pebige de Vos, I definitely butchered that, I apologize, but a modern impersonation of his machine out of Lego parts. It nine, includes 96 Lego gears for a perfect sync with the ocean's natural rhythm. Now, he did have some challenges, as, as we all know, that Lego bricks have a specific ratio, so it's hard for them to kind of figure out how to not create too much friction, but still keep the calculation smooth. I put the youtube video in the description so you can check it out very cool design and uh well if you have a beach nearby this is a great way to know the tides and build it with lego on february 13th 1997 there were five million bricks lost to the sea a cargo ship off the coast of rotterdam was well not in the best of circumstances. The captain describes it a 100-year phenomenon where a rogue wave tilted the vessel 60 degrees on one side, then 40 degrees back, sending 62 shipping containers toppling into the ocean. Now, there was a bunch of things, such as cigar cigarette lighters, hose parts, but mainly there was a bunch of Lego parts, and they all washed up on the beach in Cornwall. And, well... Now it's called the Lego Beach, and a 25-year-old has decided, well, I'm going to pick up all those bricks if I can. So she's combing the beaches, trying to find as many as she can, and collect them to rid the shores of the plastic that's been there for, for so, so long. And she's got a long way to go. There's so much plastic out there, but this is just fun to collect the Lego pieces they've got the old dragons the octopus so many cool ones and hopefully one day i'll be able to go and pick some up myself brick universe is making another stop in a new town this time it's going to be in the town of portland maine it's going to be from april 3rd, 30th to may 1st i love the town of portland and if it was closer i'd travel to it all the time maybe i'll just have to fly up more and maybe i'll have to do it for brick universe this is fun uh, way to get the east coast and far north to get into lego and maybe uh, continue to have more and more places that they can visit I love to ski and I also love Lego. So these things go great together. There is now Lego on the slopes. A set of Lego fans have decided to help and create these larger than life minifigures that you can see on the slopes of the ski resort in Poland, the Bielka Tarzanska. I definitely butchered that name as well, but they have different minifigures along one of the lifts, and they're representative of the Lego City minifigures, and it's very cool, definitely a fun way to have your uh, little view of things and maybe go by and give them a high five. Some Lego employee on TikTok has decided to share some secrets about being an employee at Lego. They talk about how if you're in the store, you know everyone's nice because, well, they want to be nice to you. That's the whole point is they want to get you engaged with not just the store, but Lego. Because if you buy Lego anywhere, Target, Walmart, uh, the Lego store, it all benefits them. They get paid based on how well the company does. As we saw this past year, the company did very well. So they got uh, pay bump or excuse me, bonuses, and they got more vacation days. So continue to get out there and buy more Lego. Um, Everyone's super nice, and you can literally get some pieces if you're really nice and even ask, uh, like, oh, I would love to build one of the models in the store. And they may say, okay, we have it coming in this day. Uh, are you able to come in and build it? I hope I can do that. I need to go talk to my friends at the Lego store. Maybe I can get my hands on the latest uh, Ultimate Collector series and get to build it for the store. And this past week, we had the birthday of the Lego brick. With endless possibilities, the brick was put into its patent on 1958, January 28th. That's 64 years in our past that we got to celebrate the creation of the brick, which has led to so many bricks being created and so much creativity being put out in the world. Um, so uh, great to end our breaking news with this. I love the Lego brick, and they did a nice job uh, with it on the Lego group 
Twitter where they framed the one Lego brick. That'd be an awesome gift to give anyone who loves Lego. And that's all the breaking news we have today. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast at backtobrick.com or Spotify or Apple or any of your favorite podcast listening apps. Make sure to tune in for our designer interviews. And I'll be discussing more in another episode just, you know, to kind of keep you updated on what's going on with the podcast, the Instagram, and all kinds of things. Oh, and make sure you subscribe to the Instagram at Back to Brick too. Again, thank you all for being there and supportive and talking with John and I. John does a great job, and uh, maybe he'll be uh, making another special announcement here soon. So I'll leave you as I always do. Get creative, get out there, and go build something.